Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. This is my weather station Raspberry Pi. It's connected to an LCD screen, which you can see, and the wires just at the top there. You've got four cables. Uh, two of those are temperature sensors. One is uh, two of them are light sensors for inside and outside, and we've also got a barometric pressure sensor which is connected by those four single cables. So the displays we have are time and date with inside temperature constant and you've got outside temperature and you've got outside and inside light and you've got barometric pressure and this is all wired up together on a PCB which is a protoplate from bit bang. So let's have a closer look. I've just uh, switched it off and I'm going to show you around it now. So here you've got underneath you've got your Raspberry Pi which you'll almost certainly recognize with the SD card. That's the one I repaired the SD card slot of and this uh, proto plate which is basically a bare PCB breakout board that you populate yourself is sitting on top of it and there's a 16 pin header which the LCD is sitting on that's how it gets its connections to and there you've got the breakout for all the GPIO ports and the big chip you can see there behind the two pins in the middle is the analog to digital converter uh, 8 channel and obviously a capacitor and a ceramic capacitor and there we have uh, an op amp which is driving the light sensors and also the voltage uh, reference voltage to keep that nice and stable and there you've got a little potentiometer which controls the screen brightness and there you've got the I squared C barometric sensor that I've still left connected and those two pins there give me the option to uh, log in using the serial port if I need to need it to be portable. And there you've got another capacitor stabilizing the supply for the LCD. Obviously the LCD is completely optional. That can be easily removed just by pulling it out of the 16 pin header. Let's do that now. So now without the LCD you can see the board a little bit better. I'm going to pull the board off now and then you'll see the back of the board and let me just warn you it looks a lot less neat than the front. Now you're ready for this, I'm going to flip it over. That's the back. It took an inordinate length of time to do it all. It's not particularly difficult but it's really complicated. Fortunately I only made one mistake which was uh, connecting the potentiometer for the LCD. I put it to the right earth. But basically those are all soldered wires. It would have been lovely to have had it on a PCB. I might think about designing one. We'll see. That's a whole new thing for me so I don't know if I'll do that. Well, there you go. That's the mess. But it works. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.